What is going on guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So guys, in this lesson we're taking a look at CSS pseudo elements. So let's begin. So what exactly is a pseudo element? Well, a CSS pseudo element is basically a keyword that is added to a selector, which enables you to style a specific part of the selected element. So for example, you could take a paragraph element and just style the uh, first letter, or even just the first line of that paragraph. Let's take a look at some examples. So first of all then, let's actually put some uh, dummy text in here. So paragraph, and just fill it in with some dummy text, okay? Let's also give this an ID of paragraph. So let's say then we wanted to style the first letter of this paragraph. So in here then in our browser window, we can see that the first letter is this L here, okay? So let's say we wanted to style just this letter. We can do that using a CSS pseudo element. So let's head on over to our style sheet. And here then we can say ID of paragraph. And now, in order to select a CSS pseudo element, we do a double colon. And from here, we want to select the CSS pseudo element of first letter. And that's it. Now we can throw in our curly braces and style it. So let's go for, let's change the color. Let's go for light green. Just deselect this here. So as you can see then, this here has been given a color of light green. Let's also increase the font size to let's say 50 pixels okay as you can see now that's gone up to 50 pixels and finally let's just do a quick text shadow as well on here of let's say one pixel one pixel three pixels gray okay and you can see that slight shadow on there so as you can see then using our css pseudo element of first letter we've actually been able to style the first letter of this paragraph let's now see how we can style the first line so we pretty much the same thing so first of all we select our paragraph so id of paragraph and then again to select our css pseudo element we do a double colon and now we're looking for first line okay um, and for this let's just change the color of this to let's go for blue And so as you can see then, the first line here of our paragraph has turned blue. Now what's really interesting here is that you can actually resize the browser window and depending on what comprises the first line in a paragraph, that will actually be styled in blue. So let me show you. So here then, if I actually increase the size of our browser window, you can see no matter what size I do the window, that CSS pseudo element of first line being blue always applies. Okay, let's take a look at some other ones. We can also do a pseudo element on its own. So we can do double colon and we can just say selection. And what this will do is this will actually style the highlighting in our browser. So I can say color and let's just go for, let's just say red. So here now, if I actually highlight this text, you can see it's been highlighted in red because we've changed the color here to red. Now we can actually change the background color here. We can say background color. We can make the background color red. And now if you highlight this, you'll see that it's highlighted in red. And of course we can do a combination here. We can do background color and we can say color. Let's make it white. And now you can see that when we highlight the text here, the background is red and the color is white. Like so. Okay, let's take a look at another example. And uh, for this example, we need to go back to our HTML file and add some more elements in. So down here then, let's add a few more paragraph elements. So I'm going to create a paragraph with a class of uh, plus. And in here, let's say Woody. And we'll just copy this a few times. This will be Buzz. And this here will be Rex. Okay, so we've got Woody, Buzz, and Rex. Each of these paragraph elements has a class of plus. So let's now head on over to our style sheet and let's see what we can do. Okay, so down here then, we can actually select our elements by doing a class of plus. This of course now will select all of these paragraph elements here because they all have a class of plus. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do our double colon and we're looking for the CSS pseudo element that enables us to place something immediately after our element. So that's going to be the after keyword here. And now what we require is a property of content 
and we can set this equal to whatever we want to appear after the element. So here I can just do a plus sign, and as you can see now, each of our paragraph elements here has a plus sign next to it. Let's actually open up the dev tools to find out exactly what's going on here. So let's do right click, inspect, and let's just change this very quickly. Settings, go back to the light theme. Okay, so in the dev tools then, we can see if we actually select this here, we can see we've got a paragraph with a class of plus. This here is just uh, to do with brackets, so we can just ignore that. But if we open this up, we can see we've got two things here. We've got Woody, which is the actual text that is inside our paragraph element. And then we also have this CSS pseudo element here of after. And if we click on this and check out the style sheet, we can see that this has a content of the plus symbol. And that is where we're getting this from. So let's actually add something else to this. To add something before this, as you guessed it, it is the CSS pseudo element of before, so let's just do class of plus, double colon, and we're looking for before. Content is going to be a minus symbol. So I should put space in here and up here as well. Okay, guys, so that is how we can actually use CSS pseudo elements to further select and style our elements. Now, of course, we've just gone over a few of them because there isn't much use in going over all of them. Um, it would be handy for you to go online and have a look to see what the other elements do. Of course, in brackets and in many other text editors, you can actually just do double colon and it will give you a list of them all. Okay, there isn't that many. Okay, guys, so go ahead and practice this. Please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.